This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, September 19th. Stock index futures are sharply higher. After yesterday, the Federal Open Market Committee, in its statement, said that they are cutting the Fed funds rate by 50 basis points to four and three quarters to 5%. And this was the first rate cut since March of 2020. We did have Fed Chair Powell saying that the central bank is not in a rush to ease policy and that half percentage point cuts are not the new pace. Stock index futures have performed very well for the news recently, and that suggests that we'll probably see some follow through strength for the indices. In the currency markets, the dollar index coming under some pressure initially with the Fed announcement yesterday to cut by 50 basis points. Since then though, there has been a recovery. Also some gains linked today to the uh, uh, jobless claims coming in with a smaller than expected number. Also, we do have a double top pattern on the daily chart. So I think that we will see the dollar index firming from current levels now that the bearish Fed cut news is out of the way. We did have the Bank of England and its policy meeting today, keeping rates on change. And the Bank of Japan's meeting tomorrow will probably uh, end with no change in policies from the uh, Bank of Japan. Interest rate futures markets coming under some pressure with the uh, Fed funds rate news uh, as of yesterday, some additional pressure with the jobless claims report coming in with a smaller number. But I think that any breaks should be used as buying opportunities since it does appear that the Fed now has embarked on a long-term course of accommodation. I think that at the next meeting in November, there will be another rate cut though, probably by only 25 basis points. And I think we'll see easier credit conditions, not just through this year, but well into 2025. So any breaks should be used as buying opportunities in the main trend for the interest rate market futures, I still think is higher. So good trading, everyone. Once again, remember these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMAS or ADM.